the Nexo Air demonstration on the servants. So typically what happens when uh, we do a consultation in Swenson is it is so vital to know what type of hair loss um, a client has. So we would normally ask questions about their general health, the scalp hygiene, the typical lifestyle that they have. And my most favorite part of doing consultation is making that timeline, asking what year was the first um, sign of hair loss. So also a big part of our consultation is when we do the assessment through a uh, dermatoscope or a video uh, microscope. That's when clients are really um, curious of what a normal hair would look like and what a uh, typical hair loss uh, would look like under microscope. So after a consultation, we would give them the recommendation. So it's either we uh, start them on uh, conventional treatments or conventional therapies or dependent on the typical hair goal that they want to achieve, we would recommend um, cosmetic options or surgical options. But personally, the Nexo hair is an exciting um, addition to our Svensson's uh, range of, of treatments. It's because I'm able to confidently say to the client to give it a chance before actually deciding to get a surgical option or a cosmetic option. Because from Sir Vince's history, we really jumped into the hair transplant option since there was no way to lower his hairline without a surgical procedure. But right now, exciting times for the brand because we're able to at least give them a chance um, to do a conventional one first. Okay. We'll do the photos. Take a photo, close up. Yeah, and then we will show the before and afters of servants in the coming uh, months. The follicular yeah. unit extraction. Uh, we do, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. We do. I think what you would have been tackled are there do's and before the procedure, like for the hair transplant. Uh, for hair transplant? No, no, for here. Because they would think it's, it's something high tech as this. We cannot drink alcohol. Is this working? That way you can drink and banter. That way you can So I think that's one thing. Oh, they, turn it, they turn it down. You can just, I think you can just toss it. And then talk about the preliminaries, like no parties. Like so one of the biggest things about the next so hair procedure is that this has no downtime. So also at the same time, there's no discomfort of enjoying blood from your arm. So, also there's not much prep needed uh, before you are scheduled by uh, the grantees for a session. I, I think, to be honest, uh, there are not any much don't do before. Um, I would say maybe if you're on minoxidil or any other products, just refrain from using it the day of the treatment. And then, uh, Mostly, I think it's more important to just make sure that you're uh, sterile, post care. So no wearing hats, no shampooing for about six hours. To make sure that, because we are microneedling, so we are going to create channels on the scalp for the exosomes to penetrate into the scalp. So for those holes to close up, it takes about six hours. So we're going to make sure that we don't wear hats, no shampooing. Uh, but I think the post care is more important than the pre care. Because again, uh, we have, for instance, has a protocol where when the patient comes in, they will wash um, the patient's hair and then we're, we're going to sterilize with alcohol. So the pre-care, I think, uh, as long as they don't just use any products, 
uh, the day of the treatment, that's fine. But the post care, again, because this is something that the patient will do at home, make sure that they follow um, our guidelines. And for the most part, it's, uh, as I as Shai mentioned, it's relatively easy. There are very little restrictions to the procedure. We shall, we shall begin. <laughs> Any last words, please? <laughs> I just hope to get my forehead back because I've been a five head for too long. <laughs> so normally, uh, in terms of results, since uh, as a prep, uh, we've seen uh, patients that are very responsive respond as soon as 10 days. Usually, I would say responsive patients uh, will respond and they'll see baby hair growth, changes to their hairline as soon as 10 to 14 days. On average, about a month, two sessions in a month, uh, about 80% of the patients will see noticeable changes. And I've yet to see a case that was 100% unresponsive. So 100% of cases so far, all over the world, have seen noticeable changes to their hair line or their hair uh, within 60 days and about and as a trichologist, the first few before and after photos, I was my own Because right. the results looked like they were right. touched up. Right. So we had, <laughs> I heard uh, right. So we had a very, very, I guess, fun experience. When we first met, uh, I visited their Makati headquarter office and we had some demos <laughs> with the consultants and the therapists. And at the, the first demo, there's a little bit of but um, during the first demo, actually, I think she's a consultant for some of you guys that visited the BGC Center. Uh, she's a consultant at BGC. She has hair loss issues on the top of her scalp. Very, very uh, prominent. And after just one session, when we followed up with her, uh, I would say exactly 10 days later. The treatment was on April 25th. And the session, uh, the follow-up session, excuse me, was on May 6th, right? So about 10 days, and we were able to see noticeable changes. I mean, I think uh, something uh, comparable to maybe PRP after three sessions, right? Correct. Yes. So that's the, the um, exciting part of it all. Fastest result I've seen in 11 years. Exactly. So one of Without the- anything orally taken. Right, and I think, Without going into the deep, deep science, one of the advantages that exosomes, or E50 exosomes, has over traditional methods uh, is that it can actually stimulate hair follicle stem cells. So conventional treatments that you've had so far just makes your existing hair follicles grow healthy, thicker hair faster. However, exosomes not only do that, but also stimulate the formation of new hair follicles. So simply put, Conventional treatments will make existing dots appear faster and thicker, whereas exosomes not only do that, but create new dots. Right? That's why you're seeing faster cells. So as you see here, very, very comfortable. Uh, right now we're using a microneedling pen. Uh, the depth is about 0 0.5 millimeters. Um, so usually, I mean, there's only blood when there's uh, the patient has acne or inflammation on the scalp there will be blood from the actual acne. But usually, when I do about 20 to 30 cases, there will be almost no blood. And usually on the top of the scalp, as you can see, uh, it's very, very comfortable. Uh, areas where there's a little bit, no hair on the hairline, there's a little bit of discomfort, but I wouldn't call it pain. It, it feels very similar to when you're using your nails and typing the top of your scalp. It's a very, very similar. How does it feel? It feels like you're like a massage. <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all. Um, so if you see here, there's just like slight bleeding, pinpoint. So I think there was a small, maybe an acne or an uh, inflammation right there. So, but as you can see, all the air, all the areas, there's no bleeding at all. So 
he did about 2,000 grafts. So that would be 2,000 hair follicles on his hairline. So it's always nice to share that uh, exosomes would actually do that without the surgery. It's, it's creating a new hair follicle without ever doing a uh, surgical procedure like follicular unit extraction. I mean, I think these days, I mean, at the end of the day, of course, hair transplant surgery is great if you want to see, you know, results that are supposed to transfer. But I think these days, uh, people, patients are sensitive to downtime, right? It's, it's the downtime, they're very, very sensitive to it, especially after COVID. I think a lot of my hair transplant surgeons, colleagues that I have all across the world, they say their business is really plummeted because, you know, now we're not working from home, right? So people really want to get out. And, um, and I think, again, as I mentioned, the whole hurdle over today, the E50 treatment, very, very convenient. To be honest, normally when I do it, uh, of course, I don't like seeing my patients very long, so I usually do it in under 10 minutes, and I can get them out the door. 30 minutes, they can be in and out, so very, very easy and convenient. That would take about 30 minutes to 45. So at Spenson's, because of course, uh, we have a program where you come in, you wash the hair, we sterilize and make sure that you have a you know, step-by-step -step process. So we assume that the whole procedure will take under 45 minutes, anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes, which is something that you can do maybe on a, on a lunch break even, if needed. And again, there's no downtime involved. Um, just to give you a story, uh, I guess a personal anecdote, uh, I've been going around all the branches Besides the group, uh, training therapists, and two weeks ago I received uh, four treatments in two days. So, and I was okay. There was no, I mean, I went out to party that night on Friday. I didn't mean to so I was out to party on Friday. I drank, it was all okay. So, uh, easy, relatively pain free. So, Sir Vince is asking about his post-procedure. Yes. Yeah, no, I was asking because um, I'm old now, so basketball is in the past a bit, but uh, I still play a lot of golf, and I was just asking about sun exposure, if I'm going to play, um, you said six hours after, yes, yes, yes. no hat, nothing, but after that, it's fine, just wear the hat. Yeah. I'll just wear a bucket hat. So I'm playing tomorrow. Yes, that's okay. Just checking. Yeah, no, that's okay. <laughs> just today, no shampooing. Um, there's some hyaluronic acid. So uh, exosomes are locked wise, meaning they're freeze dried. So during the freeze drying process, we add some hyaluronic acid because that uh, allows us to sort of preserve the structure. And um, the HA will make the hair harden a little bit. So I usually recommend before the product fully dries, style your hair. And if the patient is uncomfortable and they feel like the hair is too messed up, after the product is fully dry, gently rinse with water. Don't scrub too much and they can respond. And after that, if they want to style it with no products, blow dry, follow it. Yeah. Um, how about hair coloring? Yes. Hair coloring, so um, I would, again, yeah, uh, as long as it's not within the same week, I would say it's good. Week before the treatment, week after. Yeah. And again, most of the pre and post care has to do with the fact that we are microneedling. Yes, it's minimally invasive, but we are still needling these exosomes onto the superficial layer of the skin, so we just want to make sure that we, uh, we keep the area sterile, uh, free from any chemicals and Yeah, yeah. And also, of course, um, E50 is actually shown to even actually color, but if you have gray hair, you can actually create black hair also. And usually, gray hair that we get comes from the fact that our cellular pathway for growing hair has aged. And it's not a well-regulated pathway. That's why it goes white hair or older hair. But now, when you use E50, we'll actually stimulate cells in our hair to properly regulate what's called the LBMT pathway, which is the major pathway for hair growth. And it will grow black hair. 
So your baby's hair will be white, but the new hair that girl will be white. Now, of course, that takes a little bit of time. It's not, um, of course, for the white hair to fall and new hair to grow. It takes a little bit of time, but we've seen many, many cases where, across, uh, over time, they've shown that they're hair to grow.